Hello viewers, oh, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, secularitis, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos, you know. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, in that case, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Now I come to a topic. What is scleritis? You know, sclera is uh, the protective uh, outer layer of the eye, you know, and uh, which is the uh, white part of the eye. And uh, it's connected to the muscles that uh, help in the movement of eyes. And about 83% of the uh, eye surface is uh, that white part, you know, known as sclera. You know. You know, sclerosis is a, a, a disorder, and in this uh, disorder, it uh, sclera becomes uh, severely inflamed and red. You know, and uh, uh, it can be very painful, and it's believed to be uh, the result of the body's immune response or immune system overacting. You know, and. Uh, uh, the type of sclerosis you have depends on the location of the inflammation and the most people feel severe pain uh, with this condition uh, uh, but there are exceptions too you know and the early treatment uh, with the medication is necessary to prevent the sclerosis from progressing you know and uh, the serious and untreated cases can lead to the partial or the complete vision loss you know it's important if you have the pain or an inflammation or redness, you should consult your doctor, you know. Now, uh, the next thing is, what are the types of uh, scleritis, you know? Well, you know, the doctors use, uh, like, uh, a Watson and uh, uh, Harry classification. Uh, to distinguish the different types of sclerosis, you know. And this classification is based upon whether the disease is affecting the anterior or the posterior of the uh, sclera, which means the front or the back of the sclera, you know. And uh, uh, the anterior forms are most likely to have uh, any underlying uh, uh, cause, you know, and uh, an illness, you know, that can cause, you know. And the subtypes of the anterior scleritis may include like uh, anterior scleritis, uh, which is the most common form of the scleritis, you know. And then the nodular anterior scleritis, which is the second most common. And uh, necrotizing anterior scleritis with inflammation is the most serious form of the scleritis, you know. And the posterior scleritis, which is more difficult to diagnose and, uh, and detect because uh, uh, it has a variable symptom, including many that mimic with other uh, eye disorders, you know. So this is the most uh, difficult one to uh, diagnose. Uh, now, this, then the, each type of sclerosis has uh, uh, similar symptoms and uh, they can worsen if the condition is not treated, you know. And uh, the severe eye pain that uh, uh, response is very poor, you know. And... Uh, like uh, to the painkillers, you know, is the main symptom. And uh, the eye movements are likely to make uh, the pain worse and the pain may spread throughout the entire face, you know. So, uh, uh, particularly on the side of the affected eye, you know. And the other symptoms may include like uh, excessive tearing or uh, decreased VN, uh, blurred VN. Uh, uh, the eyes are sensitive to the light which is also known as photophobia, you know. And the redness of the sclera are the white portion of the eye, you know. And so these are the main symptoms, you know. And the symptoms of uh, uh, the posterior sclerosis uh, are not as uh, like evident because it does not cause the severe pain uh, as other types do, you know. And the symptoms of the posterior uh, sclerosis may include like the deep-seated headaches, you know and uh, pain which is caused by the eye movement, eye irritation and the double VN, you know, or diplopia, you know. And uh, some people may experience uh, a little or no pain from the sclerosis, and this may be uh, because they have uh, 
uh, the milder case or maybe uh, like uh, uh, scleromalacia perforation you know uh, sorry per per perforance you know uh, which means that uh, it's a rare complication of the advanced uh, rheumatoid arthritis you know or the history of using uh, immunosuppressive medications you know so uh, uh, the next thing is causes you know what causes scleritis you know well there are multiple theories that uh, immune systems t cells can cause the cells cause the scleritis you know and uh, the immune system is a network of uh, uh, like uh, uh, organs, other uh, tissues, and uh, circulating cells that work together to stop the bacteria or the viruses uh, from causing the illness, you know. And the T cells work to uh, destroy incoming pathogens or the invaders, you know, uh, which are the organisms that can cause disease or the illness. Now, in case of scleritis, you know, they are believed to begin uh, attacking the eye's own sclerotal cells by mistake, you know. So this is, uh, uh, that's why it's called autoimmune disorder, you know. And doctors still are not sure why this happens. Now, uh, it may occur uh, at any age. And women are more likely to develop uh, than men, you know. And there's no specific race or the area of uh, the world where this condition is more common or less common, you know. And you have an increased chance of developing this condition if you have... Uh, like uh, uh, Wagner's disease, uh, which means that uh, it's a, it's an uncommon disorder, you know, and uh, it involves the inflammation of the blood vessels, you know. If you have the rheumatoid arthritis, okay, if you have the inflammatory bowel disease, which is also known as IBD, you know, and uh, uh, which causes the, uh, like, digestive symptoms due to inflammation of the bowel, you know, or the intestines, you know, and... Uh, uh, Jogren's disease uh, syndrome, you know, and lupus, uh, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes the skin inflammation, you know, and the eye infections, uh, uh, and the damage to the eye tissues from an accident, you know. So in that case, you are more uh, 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 higher risk, you know. Now, the next thing is, uh, how do the doctors diagnose this condition? Well, uh, your doctor will review a detailed medical history and then he will perform an examination and uh, the lab evaluations uh, to diagnose scleritis may be involved, you know. You know, your doctor may question about uh, like your history of uh, like uh, systemic conditions such as uh, whether you have the rheumatoid arthritis or any other condi conditions or irritable bowel, uh, uh, irritable bowel disease, you know. And uh, they may ask you, any about the history of any accidents or tra trauma or the surgery to the eye, you know. And uh, the other conditions uh, uh, that have the symptoms similar to the scleritis include like uh, episcleritis, you know, or blepharitis or conjunctivitis, you know. Now, episcleritis is uh, the inflammation of the superficial vessels of the, uh, like, um, uh, outermost layer of the eye, you know. And the other condition is blepharitis, you know, blepharitis means inflammation of the outer eyelid, you know. And conjunctivitis is inflammation of the eye, which is caused by virus or bacteria, you know. Uh, it could be the viral conjunctivitis, or it could be the bacterial conjunctivitis, you know. And uh, additionally, uh, your doctor may uh, advise or order some tests like ultrasonography or complete blood count, you know, or maybe biopsy, you know, of the sclerotic case to see if there is any kind of... Uh, uh, the cell changes, you know, uh, which are causing these symptoms. So then he will plan your treatment uh, accordingly, you know, according to the underlying cause. Now, the treatment uh, goal is uh, on fighting the inflammation before it can cause permanent damage. And uh, the pain from scleritis is also relate, like, uh, related to inflammation. So reducing the swelling of the inflammation it will decrease the symptoms, you know. And the uh, treatment, uh, like, uh, it uh, uh, follows a step ladder approach, you know, which means that uh, if the first step uh, in the medic uh, medication fails, then the second is used, you know. And the medication used to treat the scleritis include, uh, like, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, you know. 
are corticosteroid pills, you know, or maybe oral uh, glucocorticoids, you know. Uh, uh, they're the preferred for choice of posterior steroids, you know, and uh, immunosuppressive drugs uh, uh, with oral uh, uh, steroids, you know, they are preferred for the most dangerous form, you know, which is known as uh, uh, necrotizing steroids, you know. And the antibiotics uh, may be given in case of infections, you know. And uh, antifungal medications may be uh, prescribed uh, when there is a fungal kind of infection is involved. And the surgery may also be necessary to uh, serve uh, like uh, the severe cause of uh, a scleritis, you know. And the process involves the repair of the tissues of the sclera to improve the muscle function and prevent the vision loss, you know. And uh, uh, the treatment may also be like uh, uh, contain, uh, contingent, you know, on treating the underlying cause. And the example is uh, like if you have the autoimmune disorder, then effectively treating it will uh, help to prevent uh, the recurring of the uh, cause of the sclerosis, you know. Now, the last and the most important question is about the uh, outlook or the prognosis, you know. You know, sclerosis can cause significant uh, eye damage, including like a partial to a complete vision loss. So when vision loss uh, does occur, uh, it's usually the result of uh, uh, nectarizing sclerosis, you know. And as I said, it's the most dangerous form of the sclerosis, you know. And there is a risk that the sclerosis will come back uh, despite the treatment, you know. So it's a serious eye condition and that requires the immediate treatment, you know, as soon as the symptoms are noticed. And uh, even if your symptoms improve, it's important to follow up with the ophthalmologist on a regular basis to make sure that, that it, they, does, they don't return, you know. And uh, treatment of the underlying uh, autoimmune disorders are the conditions that uh, might cause this condition is also important to treat you know uh, in preventing the future problems with the script you know. so it's a emergency and uh, you should uh, uh, consult the ophthalmologist uh, without wasting any time thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to Subscribe this channel for more information every day. Thank you and goodbye.